Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be reviewing the number one movie on Netflix in Nigeria, Olo Ture. In my video or you bumped into this channel and you have not subscribed, please stop whatever you're doing and subscribe to my channel. I'll be right back. the plot of the story. Olo Tore, which means endurance, is a Nigerian crime drama that highlights sex trafficking, sex violence, which is one of the problems we face in this society today. After stars, unemployment, poverty, corruption, and the others. Starting with the characters, Sharon Oja, who played the role of Olo Tore slash Ehi, she was an undercover journalist who was meant to expose human trafficking, and I think she actually got trafficked in the process. Omoni Oboli, who took the role of Alero, the chain smoker. She was the sex traffic madam with her ominous attitude. Do you guys remember? Show me your tete and your culo. These are the things we need in Europe. This kind of stance is what we know as Forza Speciale. <laughs> um, when you see the movie, we have Omami, we have Ufai. She was just a very good character in that movie. Shall we review the movie? Yes, we shall. I have to admit the extensive use of pigeon in this movie made the movie even more attractive because it's not everyone that understands like a grass big grammar like that because pigeon is the own language you understand in this country. It's a very beautiful language. So highlighted the violence and risks that female journalists go through just to expose crimes for us. But the Afro and highlight soundtrack brought about this nostalgia, this nostalgia, you know, reminds about the old school, the old school setting and everything. It was a very beautiful scene. Don't forget how this movie actually plays actually got the proper sex worker setting you know the midnight setting where they're all arranged in a straight line you know and then they're waiting for the customers how far if they do or you know they do 2k for this one 7k for this one 5,000. you we get what they do and you know they waste time not they waste time like this you understand you stay outside around midnight around like 2 to 3 or 4 a.m around that alena venue just said you see them plenty abj in abj yeah. you see those people broad daylight they don't even come out and it's broad daylight they will stop your car they don't send anybody movie pointed out non-popular languages such as idioma and benin so that's in the conversation being held between Olo Ture, rather known as Nehi and her mom, and Linda and her mom. I will also talk about some ugly scenes of noticed in the movie. Chooks and Blessings toxic relationship was also something to talk about because it also pointed out sexual abuse between partners. Chook is a is a was an old fashioned kid in the movie who abuses normally abuses his his babe that's blessing she's an orphan in the movie and then she was abused right from time you know basically she didn't have anyone to fend for her and the bribery and corruption scene we noticed at the national was it nigerian immigration service or one of them yes i noticed that very very well the romance between olo Ture and her boss i don't understand like that was very odd for me okay so did i miss out anything i also have like some questions like to the writer or the director of the movie, Kenneth Ian. It happened to Linda's sister, Blessing, because she was just running. I don't know if she went back, if she, if she found help or something, because that is another part we need to look into. Was she safe? Did she end up in safe hands? What happened to Olo Ture? Because after crossing the border, I was expecting something else, and then the next thing, the movie ended. Like, okay, what happened? Will there be a sequel to bring justice to this story? Or will the story be left this way? such that sex workers get sold and nothing is done about it as if this is the end of the review very short and beautiful i think i know i know so guys um if you enjoyed this video put it in the comment below like this video don't forget to subscribe i'll be back again for some better content catch ya later